Hey, what's going on guys? Monster Deface here, back with another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now you guys may have already got your hands on the sniper, but this is for those of you guys that have not. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes brought with the introduction of the brand new Heavy Sniper. Just in case you guys haven't already noticed. So, just a quick heads up, there's a brand new game mode called Soren 50s. Basically, the normal 50v50 mode, except you can now use your glider to kind of move around. I think it's a fun mode, it's a fun idea. And then of course sniper shootout where you can test out the brand new heavy sniper for yourself and kind of back up what i'm going to be stating in this video now with that let's go ahead and talk about the stats of the brand new heavy sniper this thing deals a lot of damage and when i say a lot i mean a lot it is not your normal sniper rifle the damage that this heavy sniper deals to the chest to players is over 150 so at the epic variant, the purple level, it actually deals 150 damage. And at the golden level, it deals 157. If you're holding a gold version, that is basically a one shot kill against the majority of players you come against in Fortnite. More often than not, a lot of us are loaded with about 75 HP off of bandages and about 50 ish based off of minis and stuff like that. So with that, this thing does a lot of damage. Now I can also confirm that the heavy sniper rifle can also break any building structure and I mean any building structure in Fortnite so far. Prove me wrong if I am wrong but as you can see from these clips right here you can break any structure from a very far distance. I'm talking normal houses as well. So I thought that'd be pretty cool to kind of throw in there to showcase that to you guys. Now, from what I saw from the patch notes, it says projectiles fired from the heavy sniper have less bullet drop in comparison to other snipers. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did overcompensate initially when using this rifle, but when it came down to live PvP, I kind of put my crosshair where I would normally put it. While intentionally trying to keep my crosshair lower than intended, I didn't get the bullets to go where I wanted them to. Instead, when I kind of went with my natural instinct and gut feeling off of what I know with the snipers, I had the best results and success. So although it says here it has less bullet drop, I wouldn't really, not that I wouldn't trust it, I would just go with your gut instinct and kind of just feel out the sniper. You'll know quickly where to put your crosshair and stuff like that. I think our good snipers out there are able to pretty much compensate for that kind of now as far as availability for this thing in the normal game mode, it can be found on floor loot, chests, supply drops, and vending machines. I will be playing a little bit more with it later, giving you guys a lot more of my feels during the live session, but a couple of the pros and cons I want to point out right now is that this weapon is actually pretty darn viable. The fact that it can break any building from a mile away and do relatively great damage to players that are stationary or something like that, it's really good for flushing players out of cover which is not too bad when you are in a long distance battle. This can be extremely effective, especially for third party engagements. Now the cons to this weapon would be long reload time, but more importantly, it actually has a slower pullout time and ADS time. So this is not your typical running gun, hunting rifle style, semi-auto sniper or bolt action style play style when you're running and gunning, uh, because you can technically run in quick scope players with the bolt, and you know clip players out of forts and stuff like that really quickly this weapon will be a lot harder to make those kind of plays so although i see it having its great usage in different situations it's really not going to be that get out of jail free card that i talk about often here on the channel with some of the other sniper rifles you know if you're running the bolt action sniper you come across a player in a base you can basically rely or pray that you hit that headshot if he peeks you when you're low on materials. With this weapon here, the slower ADS time will definitely play a factor in how quick you can react with the weapon. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to run and gun with the sniper. And with that, I'll go ahead and conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Peace.